Hi everyone, it's Michael here and this is actually a laptop. It is pretty much a 12 inch MacBook running on Windows. Do you think it's any good? Let's find out. There is simply no way to deny that this time Asus made their design based on a MacBook that then perfected and improvised in several aspects. Starting from its weight, thickness, RAM, SSD capacity and performance, and especially, this is one of the first ultrabooks in the world to rock a KB Lake i7 processor inside, plus a sophisticated cooling system, including a super slim fan. Overall, you kind of will never expect to see Asus making a laptop just like this, which is even priced higher than the original MacBook from Apple. Since I am here with Agung Hapsa, I think I just let him tell us what he thinks of this machine. So this is the Asus ZenBook 3 and it is the newest notebook thin laptop from Asus and I gotta say, I like it. Okay, so no bullshit, let's just get straight into this. What I like about the laptop, first of all, I like the design. I like how thin it is, of course that's one of the main selling points of it. But other than that, I actually do like, like the hinges the trackpad. I also like the keyboard. The keyboard, the travel is surprisingly well for a laptop that's this thin. It's definitely better than the MacBook. That's what I can tell you right now. It's not great, but for a laptop this thin, I would say it's more than acceptable. Now, the second thing I like is that it has fans. And a laptop this thin, it's comparable to a phone to be honest, it has fans. And apparently the fan is super thin. And the reason for the fan is because it has really high-end specifications, which is an Intel Core i7 uh, KB Lake. It also has 16 gigabytes of RAM, and that's not going to be able to perform without a fan. And I think the fact that they got those high specifications into such a small laptop is incredible in the first place. I also like the speakers, which... Let's see how loud it goes. Take a listen. Wait, that's not yet. What? The display, I have to say, is also really nice. For my liking, I think it's a little too small, but I think that this type of size is perfect for applications, for like productivity stuff, for things like watching movies. It is more than enough. But for like video editing, it's of course, I don't think it's enough. Now, people might say that the specs are overkill, like i7, 16 gigabytes, like why do you need that on like a productivity laptop? But I think that this laptop is designed to do more than what it's meant for and I think I like that. I like a laptop that does more than what it's designed for than a laptop that only does what it's designed for. Like you can't do extra things, extra, let's say for example multitasking. That's gonna be very hard on a laptop with only an Intel Core M. So I think that the i7 does contribute to the fact that it's security so it makes sure that no matter what you're doing, no matter how much the payload, that it's still gonna be able to run these programs smoothly, relatively smoothly, in a laptop that's this size. And I think that justifies the high specifications. Also, now moving on to what I don't like about this laptop is that I don't like the color scheme to be honest. They have royal blue, they have rose gold, and they also have quartz gray, but I don't like the color scheme. This color scheme, it's just not my style. I don't like gold and blue in the same place. I don't like, the rose gold is nice, but the quartz gray, I just don't like the style. This, the color scheme I don't like, the style I like, and the design I like, it's just the colors, that's my problem. I also don't like how the back screen is very finger prone. So like, if you just touch it, you can see all these different fingerprints. That, I don't like, it looks ugly. Another thing that I don't like is the USB-C port. I like the fact that it has a USB-C port. I don't like, however, the fact that it only has one USB-C port. I think for productivity applications, especially if this is marketed for people who are doing productivity, it needs to have more than one USB-C port. I think one USB-C port, really? Honestly, I really do like the laptop, even with its downsides. I honestly think this is like the perfect casual productivity laptop for a person like me. For like. If I was me, if I had this laptop, I would use it for like watching movies, listening to songs, like web browsing, social media, in the bed, or maybe while I'm traveling. This is perfect for that. What I also think it's perfect for 
anything that is productivity driven, for example, like Microsoft Word and stuff, you could totally use that here because nowadays you don't even use USBs, like you transfer stuff through Gmail. So I don't think connection is that required. And even if it is required, they do come with a USB dock that like it extends to different types of ports that all you need. And I think that because of this, it's the perfect laptop for people like me at least. So yeah, I like this laptop. Alright, thanks a lot for Agung Hapsa who replaced us very well to do this review. Make sure you don't forget to check out this channel and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to nerd reviews. See you later!